Hi guys, it's Blackie Thomas. I have a uh, good friend of mine who's a student of mine named Roger. And Roger and I work very closely together in bushcraft skills and etc. I call him my chief student. And Roger, like a lot of people, he needs visual and repetition to learn something. And what that means is he needs to see it, not spoken, not written, but see it. And then he needs to physically do the action repeatedly until he gets a muscle memory. Many, many people are like this. And so because of that, Roger and I talked about my last Tuesday video where we did the tripod and etc. And he wanted me to focus on the knots and things that were being used. So, since it's Tuesday, it's down and dirty woodscraft. Today, we're doing knots. Stay with me. Okay, the Canadian jam knot. You're going to take your cord however long you want it to be. You're going to tie a good knot, actually I like two knots, in the end of the cord. And that's just simply an overhand knot. Two of them real tight together. You're going to make a space of like an inch and a half to two inches and you're going to tie another knot. You can do two knots if you want. On the other end of the cord we're going to tie a double knot. Okay. Now, to make this into the Canadian jam knot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that lower knot in my hand, I'm going to twist up and over and make a loop. I'm going to go through that loop, just like that. Now see how this cord that's on the end of that thing is laying on top of the top of the loop, okay? Cinch it up just a little, so it's fairly small. Now I'm going to take the other end, I'm going to go around whatever I'm trying to go around, and I'm going to go through that loop. Then I'm going to pull it up tight. Now what that does is it's going to cause this knot to pull down, just like that, until it bites against the main line and since the cord is now trapped between these two knots that's what locks it this is what you pull to tighten the knot this is what you pull to unlock the knot and therefore open the lock knot back up so this is your key and this is your pull it tighter this is your unlock okay the square knot. We're going to start with our length of cord. We're going to go around whatever it is we're wanting to tie. Pull it up snug from the back. Now we're going to take the two lines and we're going to go looking at it from my point of view left over the right. Just going to cross it just like that. Now I'm going to come under between them and I'm going to pull that down until it cinches down onto the target. Now I went left over right. Now when I come up, I'm going to go right over left. Pull it back through and I'm going to cinch it down just like that. That is a square knot. Now that knot will hold a good deal of load, but it's meant to be a knot that I can tie quickly and will be easy to untie. To untie it if it's gotten really tight and it's hard to you can't just grab it with your fingers and pick it is grab either one of the leads I like to take the lead to the left and pull the opposite direction bang that breaks the knot and allows you to untie it okay so once again starting from the cord coming up from around what we're trying to tie we're going to cross it go left over right Come back underneath with the one on the right. So it's left coming over right, going through the loop. Pull it tight. Come up. Right over left. 
with the right cord coming underneath, pulling it down. That is a square knot. To break it, grab the cord to the left, pull back to the right, and that unlocks it where you can Okay, the timber it. hitch. This is when I want to tie a rope to a tree like my ridge line and be able to disconnect it quickly at the tree, okay? You're going to go around the tree. You're going to have a length, and this is the long end that's going to be going back to my tarp. I take my short end right here. I go over the top, come back underneath, and I'm going to take this excess and make a loop. And I'm going to wrap that loop two or three times around the cord. Now, when I pull it tight, just like that, it's pinching and biting it. Now, let me turn around and let's show that up close. See, the loop, it comes back and the excess has been wound between the knot and the tree. So now it's holding. The tighter it pulls, the tighter it's squeezing it against the tree. Thus, it's not going to slip or let go. But the knot right here, if I grab it and pull, it pulls those knots out and it falls off the tree. So let me show you that again. Grab hold of this right. Okay, let me show this again. I am going to see if I can do it this way. Come from, go up and over. Give myself a pretty good bit of slack now. On the line coming around the tree, because this is this is the end that's going to go and hook just a second. Technical malfunction. Hold on. There. All right. Here's my ridge line that I want to secure this way. I'm going to go around the tree, go over, come under. Then I'm going to make a little loop of slack, and I'm going to go up and over, up and over, up and over. And then I'm going to pull the slack, pull my ridge line tight. Now all those loops right there are pinched against the tree. I've got my loose end back here. When I pull it, they're going to unwind out from between the tree, just like that, and it falls off the tree. That's the timber hitch. Okay, the tripod notch. You have three sticks that are as long as you're going to need. Remember, they're going to be spread out. And these are taller than me, and yet when you spread them out, they're only going to be about like four and a half, maybe five feet off the ground. So you want to cut sticks that when you stick them out in a tripod, they're the height you want. Okay. This is for, I am not going to be doing a lot of load bearing. I am going to be hanging a cook pot. Three sticks. They ain't got to be the same size. I'm going to start by taking my cord, paracord is what I like for this, set up in a Canadian jam knot, open up the loop, take one of them, go around twice, slide it down to where you want it. Now, holding it, put the other two up in there as well, just like that. Now stand them all up where they're together, grab the end of the jam knot, and pull it tight. You may have to walk it around and because the way it's twisted back here, you may have to roll that back stick to get you some slack. But roll it around until it pulls up tight. Now pull it good and tight. Now take and just make a loop. Take it, loop, push the loop back up through the loop to form a stop knot. Just something to keep from being sucked back through that knot. Just like that, okay? Now spread the poles. And you will have a tripod, just like that. It helps to point the sticks so that when you get it out like this, you push down and they stick in the dirt. This will hold the weight of a cooking pot. So all it is is a Canadian jam knot around one of them, slide the other two in the loop, pull it tight, and put a stop knot. Now you can hang your trammel on this to suspend your pot. To take it down, all you got to do is come up, pull out that stop knot loop, like that, grab the unlocker for the Canadian jam knot, pull it slack, and pull your poles out. That's it. 
Slide your cord back over the top. Put it back into your cook set or put it back holding your sleeping bag and you're ready to go. That's the tripod set. Got it? Got it. Do it. All right. So some slack. Mm-hmm. The poles. Take the poles you're not going to use. Lean back against you. Go around that one twice. Just like that. There you go. Bring it in. Now stick those in there. The other two. Yep. Pull it tight. Keep going. You're going good. Hold on. Go. Let me look at this. Go that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go that way. There we go. Pull it good and tight. Yeah. Now put your stop knot in. Oh, did it too far up. Good. Go. Now open it up. Push them down dirt. That's all there is to a tripod. That will hold it. the cooking pot. Tripod ready to go. Now take it apart. Okay. Up. Pull the stop knot. Back out the Canadian jam knot. That's good. Off the pulls. Easy peasy. Back in your cook set. You're done.